everyone this is Amy welcome today to my channel today I'm going to show you a very simple round brush flower I'm using a 16 a 12 and an 8 these are a magic brushes and they're actually listed down below my video if you'd like to uh, purchase through an affiliate link you're welcome to do so fine liner by Westonia and a clay ball maker paints I'm using are all folk art paints I'm using lime green thicket Engine Red, Yellow Light, School Bus Yellow, and Autumn Leaves. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to begin by using the small end because there's a large and a small end. I'm going to stick it into the Engine Red. This is going to be my center. And just quickly making a dot not anything special just making a dot I hope you can see all these if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell before leaving I would greatly appreciate that I've got so many things going on on my workbench here I need to clean it off all right, so to get started, I'm going to begin by going into the school bus yellow with the largest round brush. This is the number 16. Again, these are just very simple videos for anybody to be able to paint. So basically, I'm just going to take the brush, push it down, and pull up. I'm going to take the brush, push down, and pull up. Very loose and light painting. Anybody can do this. And if you feel like you didn't get the tip the way you want it, just go back over it like that. And I just like to create just very simple videos for anyone to be able to use, whether it's just an inspiration as far as the design goes or you're a more experienced painter and want to put your own twist to the design, feel free to do so. I am intentionally just leaving a space from the center you know, you can go closer if you want, or you can push, you know, paint the petals, not push the petals, but paint the petals, and then go uh, and put the center in after you're done. You're welcome to do that, do it that way as well. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is pick up the ne next brush, and that is a number 12. I'm going to go into the autumn leaves, just get it good and full of paint. And then again, I'm going to repeat, just come back over with the next color. And anytime you don't like how it ends up, just go back over it. Maybe even give it a little bit of drying time. You're welcome to do it that way. I am wanting this to be very loose and kind of, I want to say abstract, but in a sense, because it's not real life how, you know, I'd paint a real flower it's just for fun and of course you can paint my designs on anything it doesn't have to be glass I just like the surface because I was painting on bottles and I like glass painting I love it and so that's why I do it on a bottle all right then I'm gonna take the smaller one the number eight round brush go in to the lighter yellow which that is the yellow light and do the same thing I'm gonna go back over this just push down you can push down more if you want and bring it up and kind of go back over it again this is just supposed to be really light and easy it's not supposed to be anything more than that Again, anybody can paint these designs. Anybody. And one thing nice about painting on a bottle is you can turn it as you're painting. And just keep going, keep turning it, and keep going around the flower. And I like to use odd numbers, so that's why I'm using using these uh, three flowers, and it fits the bottle. 
All right, next thing I'm going to do, take the brush I began with, number 16, come into my greens, and I'm just touching into them. And then I'm going to just do the same thing, push down. I'm sorry, you probably didn't see that. Push down, pull back. And these are my leaves. And you can do three, you can do two, you can do one. Doesn't matter. That is up to you. These are going to just basically be around the flowers. I'm not doing a stem. And you can touch back into the yellow if you feel the need. Like I said, you can do one, you can do three. I'm a big leaf person, so if you're not, I just like to tell you just to go a little lighter on it. I just touched my brush into the red. So I think we'll be done because I did that. I don't know why I just did that, but I did. All right, so the last thing to finish this off, going into the greens with my liner and just sticking in the greens. I can even touch into the yellow if I want. Just kind of keep with the color scheme. And then I'm just going to do straight little lines, then little lines from the flowers, just kind of connecting them, making them make sense. And you can add more color if you want. Just keep it simple. And I know many people will ask about bake time. I do have a video for that, but please, first of all, follow whatever paint brand you're using. Make sure you're following their instructions because they do vary depending on what company you're using. But with the folk art paints, it's 30 minutes, bake time, I do strongly tell you to put your glassware in a cold oven, then turn it on. I add the preheat time to my bake time. So if my preheat time is 20 minutes, my bake time is 30, it's in there for a total of 50 minutes. Uh, once I do that, bake it for that time, turn it off and let it sit in there for a couple hours. Yeah, it might be cooler sooner. I can't give you a specific time. It just varies uh, when it'll be completely cool. But the main thing when you're dealing with glass is to make sure that you're not putting it into a hot environment or removing it into a cold environment or a cooler environment because the temperature change quickly is what causes it to break. All right, hope that helps. All right, so here you go. Pretty easy, and I think it's pretty just very simple, a little abstract, loose. And again, anyone can do it. If you can hold a paintbrush, you can do my design. All right, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate you. Um, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. Um, also, while you're here, there is a share button underneath the video. Take a moment if you would and share this with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.